Hello, my Pisces friends, and thank you for joining me on Indigo Goddess 1111. My name is Indigo, and I'm bringing you your 2018 January Twin Flame reading. This is for those who are Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, um, either the Divine Masculine or the Divine Feminine. Pisces it does not have to be both. It's either or. But um, if you are cross watching, you will be the opposite energy in the in the same reading. And then when you're watching your own, um, they will be the opposite energy in that reading. And then you just um, marry the two uh, the two um, readings together. So that will get started. Angels and spirit. Can I get one card from the romance angels to give me a clear picture of where we are in the journey for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, January 2018? Can I get one card to signify where they are in the journey? I will try to remember to timestamp this for those of you who do not want to watch me shuffle. I just always like to shuffle and um, let my cards fall out on camera so everybody knows that that is how they originally came out. Okay, so Pisces, your card this month is worth waiting for. So um, divine timing is at work in your love life. I will also pull two cards, one card for the Divine Feminine, one card for the Divine Masculine from the um, Hidden Realm Oracle deck to see where each one of you is at and what your special message from Spirit is. So Spirit and Angels and Helpers of the Hidden Realm, can I get one card for the Divine Masculine or the Divine Feminine and one card for the Divine Masculine? Okay, we got the Metal King uh, for the Divine Masculine. This one wanted to fly out. And the Phoenix, beautiful, for the Divine Feminine. That is one of my favorite cards in the whole deck. Okay. Okay, Spirit Angels, can I have five cards for the Divine Feminine? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Or their counterpart, the Divine Feminine, five cards, one for each week in January. And the fifth card, the overall energy of the month, please, for the Divine Feminine. Okay, we have the Hierophant, the Hermit, the King of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, the Four Wands in Reverse. And I got six there, so we're going to take the last two for the... Energy of the month. Can I get five cards for the Divine Masculine now, please? Okay, we have the Tower. The Six of Swords in Reverse. Fly out. One more spirit. And this one. Lots of swords for the Divine Masculine this week. And the bottom of the deck is the star. How beautiful is that? So the energy overflowing from December is wishes are coming true. Okay, I'm going to use the Gilded Tarot for my clarifying cards. And can I get a clarifying card for all cards on the table? These flipped over in the deck. Oops. There we go. The bottom of the deck of the clarifying 
um, deck is the King of Pentacles. So, um, Divine Masculine, I hear that you are working hard on um, gaining your own sense of stability to help bring your wishes to reality. Okay, the first week of January, let's see, I'm going to timestamp this at 530. Um the first week in January, the Divine Feminine Pisces, um, either you, the Pisces, or your Divine Masculine, has the Hierophant clarified by the Empress in reverse. So, um, you are coming out of your traditional thoughts about how a relationship should go. Um, you always thought it kind of went like A, B, C. Um, but now that you are separated from your karmic partner, your spouse, um, you are starting to see things in a whole new light. But you are having trouble with either your mother, your divine masculine's mother, a sister, somebody within your family that is giving you a hard time for leaving your um, children's father. The first week in January, the Divine Masculine has the tower. So um, he's had something that really shook him up, something that was unexpected, but he's still there and fighting and he is still defending this. Oops. He is still defending this connection. Um, he's been to battle before, and he's not scared to do it again. And um, even though this kind of brought him to his knees, to a position in his life that he's never yet experienced, um, he's still holding a brave face. He's still um, there defending your honor, defending the connection. In the second week of January, the Divine Feminine has the Hermit in reverse. So... Um, you're not, Divine Feminine, you're not taking the time to see the spiritual side of this um, connection. Um, a lot of times, and but not always, the uh, Divine Masculine is the runner and the Divine Feminine is the chaser. But in this reading, um, this Divine Feminine is the runner. They are the one that still has the karmic partner. And the Divine Masculine is the one fighting so hard for this connection. So um, you're refusing to um, look at the, the spiritual side of things. And the Knight of Cups, you are not allowing that love offer to come in just yet. I, I am getting from Spirit that you are still dodging this connection out of fear and out of backlash from your family on leaving this relationship that you're currently in. Um, in the second week, the divine masculine has the six of swords in reverse. So he's not going nowhere. Um, all he's trying to do is um, eliminate the buzz around your ear. Um, people are trying to put thoughts in your head about him, about this connection. Um, to, to uh, manipulate the relationship or um, they're trying to put a rift between you. They are trying to make the divine feminine um, think that it's not going to work out. And you divine masculine, you are trying to eliminate that um, as well as any outside competition you are now eliminating anybody in your life that um, does not support this connection. But until that divine feminine um, reaches out and accepts this connection, you are staying put. <laughs> um, the third week in January, the divine feminine has the king of pentacles, clarified by the queen of pentacles in reverse. So she knows that the Divine Masculine can offer her um, 
stability, security. Um, but she's scared of it. The queen of pentacles in reverse. She's emotionally unstable. Um, she's full of fear and she's scared. It's not going to work out because she's been hurt in the past. The divine masculine, the third week of January is just sitting here waiting, 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 waiting. Um, he has people in his life. Um, he has things to do. He has, you know, work, family, friends, and he is sitting here waiting for this cup from his divine feminine to arrive, to extend the invitation that he's put out so many times. And it's being clarified by the death card because the divine feminine is going to allow a repetitive cycle in her life to come to an end so that the divine masculine can get closer. In the fourth week of January, the divine feminine, you have the knight of pentacles in reverse, clarified by the knight of pentacles in the upright. So he, your divine masculine is not coming in and making an offer just yet of stability, even though he wants to. You are um, subconsciously and consciously cutting that off um, because you're scared of change. You're scared of this not working out. Lots of pinnacles here. Um, so Pisces, one of you could be an earth sign, um, either or. But you're just, you're terrified that you are going to put all your faith into this divine masculine and it's going to turn out like every other relationship that you've experienced divine feminine and it's going to end up where you're getting hurt or you're feeling stuck in a relationship that no longer satisfies you the divine masculine in the fourth week has the page of swords so um and it's being clarified by the ace of pentacles in reverse so somebody is coming forth a younger energy air sign um gemini aquarius libra they're going to come in and tell you some information about the divine feminine and it's going to um, kind of set you back a little bit. Um, you are ready to offer a new start. Um, you wanted, for a group of you, you own your own business. You wanted to bring her in on this. Um, you just wanted to start with everything just the way you imagined it. Um the universe is sending you a gift, but it's not coming in just yet because it's being blocked. Um, yeah. So the overall energy for the uh, Divine Feminine in January is the Knight of Wands. So somebody's going to come in fast and um, offer a passionate new start uh, to a life together as your Divine Masculine. But... I see you not accepting that offer just yet, Divine Feminine, because you are currently in an unhappy marriage, an unhappy commitment, and you are not in your element yet. You are, well, you have the Queen of Pentacles here twice in reverse. So you are just unstable. You um, are fearing change. You are fearing um, committing to somebody else. Because your last relationship that you are currently trying to get out of has really um, taken its toll on you. And you're scared to allow uh, a new start with anybody. And this, this connection scares you even more so because you have so many feelings for this Divine Masculine. And you have passion about every aspect of your life, not just like physically or sexually. I mean, it's everything. You are passionate about waking up next to them and starting the day together and um, living a life together and go ending every night going to bed. I mean, you're passionate about everything. So you're even more scared that you're going to lose this. So you're kind of pushing him away in order to protect yourself from losing what you think will not stick around. The Divine Masculine He's going to take a step back and take a cool, calm approach to this, but he is going to, um, he is going to come in and try to 
reassure you that this is real. This is how he feels. This is what he wants. And he's not going to stop until he gets it. Um, and he may not make a move just yet out of respect for you, out of respect for your feelings, your children, your um, partner that you're with right now, but he will be moving. And he's kind of giving you that heads up that I'll go away for now, but I ain't going away forever. Spirit and angels, do you have any other messages that the Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, Divine Masculine, or Feminine need to hear, want to hear, get to hear for the month of January? Okay, so the Divine Feminine is keeping her guard up. She um, is taking a stance to guard her heart, to protect herself, because she she's just scared. Whoops. Okay, these four cards flipped over in the deck. And they are the Ten of Pentacles. So the Divine Masculine is going to come in quick and speaking nothing but truth and offering you and reassuring you that he can give you this. You want this, you got it. You, you know, it's ready here and waiting for you. And I'm going to give it to you is what the Divine Masculine is saying. Spirit is encouraging the Divine Feminine to keep healing those hurts and to allow the Divine Masculine in. He is stable. He is grounded. He is abundant in every aspect. And he wants you to be sitting next to him, but you have to, uh, you have to gain balance and sense of healing. And I see you getting that in January, uh, Divine Feminine. I feel you will be healing and at a, at a quick rate because he's not only coming in and telling you this, he is showing you what you could have. He is showing you, proving you in the physical, in, I'm holding it in my hands, tangible. This is what you want. This is what you can have. You just have to join me. You have to be my partner. You have to be my sidekick, the one that I turn to when I need somebody and I'll be that person for you, which is such an amazing, beautiful message because so many times we get the message of the divine masculine running and here he is standing up saying, I'm here. And look at that, that flipped over in the deck. I am here and here's what I'm going to give you. And here's what you deserve. And that's just absolutely perfect because that's what I'm here to offer you. And this is your Ten of Cups, Divine Feminine. Don't worry about what you've lost. Don't worry what you're turning your back to because it wasn't meant for you. Turn around and see those two cups behind you because that is what is meant for you. That is what this life is about. That is what you deserve and that's what you're going to get. Any other messages, Spirit? The moon. And a lot of times I see this as secrets and deceit, not in this reading. What I see in this reading is the end of a cycle. When this um, new moon, um, this moon phase that we're in, when that is over, I see you having a change of heart, a uh, new way of looking at things. Also, I am getting that this is where you met him. The first night you spent together, you spent it under the stars. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Any other messages, Spirit? Okay, this one flipped over. Um, you're worried about what you can and can't offer him. And Spirit is saying, when you two come together, the gift of the universe will come in the Ace of Pentacles. And you will not have to worry about what you have to offer because everything you have is everything he wants and everything he needs. You are a whole, complete person just the way you are. And you are not lacking in anything. You just need to heal your hurts and to do your self affirmations because you are enough and he wants you. He wants to offer you this 10 of cups. He wants to offer you this 10 of pentacles. He wants to offer you that four of wands. Anything else spirit? Ooh. 
the magician. You both have the tools to manifest whatever you want right now. And what you guys want is each other. So it's time now to put all fear and doubt aside and have confidence in yourself and each other that you have what it takes to make this work. You have what it takes to manifest this into the reality, into the 3D, and it's coming. And it's going to come whether... Um, It, I'm hearing it's going to come at the end of this moon phase. Okay. No more spirit. No more messages. Do you have any clarifying cards for what fell out, spirit? Any clarifying cards for what came out after the initial cards? Nope. All right. That's pretty clear and cut. A clear cut, Pisces. Um, divine feminine, divine masculine. You, you are ready. You have what it takes. You just have to get that sense of balance and healing. And this is what's coming in for you. Like how amazing and beautiful. And it's time to leave behind what you are holding on to right now out of fear. And it's time to let your divine masculine in. Um, it's time to stop running. It's time to heal. It's time to face um, your hurts. Time to face your um, what you feel you are lacking. Um, it's time to face it all. And Divine Masculine, it's worth waiting for. And you know that. And Divine Feminine, Divine Timing is at work. So you need to start healing. You need to find balance. And... Um, because he's waiting. He's not only waiting. He is working hard to prove to you that he's the one. Um, as far as our cards for the hidden realm. Okay. Divine Feminine, you had the phoenix. So the phoenix appears as your ally to celebra celebrate your journey and to ensure you ultimate success. This is true even if it appears that you've just passed through a metaf metaphorical experience of death or are currently enduring a perception of failure in your life. This is your card. You, are, you will feel like you are not enough, but you are everything. Death and rebirth are related when you enter the realm of the phoenix. Seen in this light, nothing truly dies but rather changes from one ending directly into a new beginning. The phoenix is constantly reinventing itself and rises up whole and new, new and even more powerful with every death it experiences. This could signal an end to a relationship or a dynamic within one or an end to whatever part of your life needs closed. Perhaps no failure is involved, but it's time to complete or overhaul your circumstances. You may be tired of what you're doing or you may know intuitively that it's time to move on it's time to be with someone new. Whatever the case, death of an old and celebration of new life are called for. Whatever you do now will surely lead to success. So this is telling you to end that karmic partner. Don't be scared. Don't be fearful because with every ending comes a beautiful new beginning. And your new beginning is one that you have never even came close to experiencing before in this lifetime. So allow it to happen and rise up even better than before. The Divine Masculine, yours is the Metal King, and, okay, the Metal King is strong and arrives to lend you its imp impenetrable, I can't say that word, shield of protection. No matter who sends you criticism or jealousy, you will not be hurt. This ally also prompts you to think about setting healthy boundaries. When you do, no matter how uncomfortable the task may be, everyone will benefit. He asks you to make sure that you know where you end and another begins. Others' emotions are not yours, no matter how empathetic you may be. Be careful not to pick up other people's feelings like a sponge. Another of the Metal King's messages is to remind you how important it is to have healthy self-esteem. It's a good time to shine and be proud of what you have accomplished. So, um, 
Spirit's message for you, Divine Masculine, is just to be careful. Um, a lot of you are empaths and pick up on everybody's emotions. You you try to heal everybody, and um, that's that's not what's important right now. You need to focus on you and to remain grounded because you have done an amazing job. Keep your high self-esteem. Keep your self-affirmations going because you need to be 100% when your divine feminine rises up like the phoenix and you two come into union because for this group of you that I'm reading for that I'm channeling for right now spirit said that when this union comes um into uh the 3D you two have a soul contract to fulfill you guys have a soul purpose that you came here to do together and you two honestly without a doubt are going to do something that will change the world. Literally. You two will be well known. And I don't care if you come from a town of 150 people out in the middle of nowhere where everybody in that town knows your name, but you go outside 30 miles and nobody's heard of you. You two will be known around the world. So this is a very, very specialized channeled message for a group of you, one of you is a Pisces, um, either Divine Masculine or Divine Feminine. But it is very, very important. And that is why Spirit is asking you to remain grounded and to um, learn how to um, shut yourself off to where you are not soaking up everybody's energies. And the Divine Feminine, it is time to rise and shine better than you ever have before. I'm unsure of what your guys' soul purpose together is because that's your part of the journey to figure out. Um, but Spirit is saying it is going to be special. It's going to be amazing. And you two will literally be known around the world. So how freaking amazing is that? This relationship is definitely worth waiting for. So um, Pisces, it's, you know, keep putting in the hard work. Um, Divine Feminine. It's time to go, time to move, um, time to heal, time to find balance, and time to rise because you two are definitely going to shine. Um, yeah, and that's that's the whole message from Spirit. You guys are well on your way. Obviously, you guys are in, in this wave of union. Um, so for that group of you, congratulations. Obviously, that's not going to apply to every Pisces in this Twin Flame journey. Because um, we're all taking different steps on the same path at all at different times. So um, if this didn't resonate with you, um, check your other signs. Or um, I welcome you to come back and check out February's reading down the road. But um, yeah, Spirit is just saying to enjoy the journey. Because it's going to take you guys places. So um, I'm sending you all the love and the light, and I hope you guys have a beautiful, amazing January. I will see you next time, and God bless.